Let's see, what do I want to flip today? Let's go with the Nemesis. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Blade Bias. Uh, you're gonna have to excuse the state of my room for the next few videos. I just got back from heading home for the weekend, and I made a few upgrades along the way. I'm going to have to be uh, careful flipping this near that. But, speaking of tech and TVs, today I wanted to talk about the transition from being in the tech community to being in the Balasong community, because I think it's something that there is quite a bit of overlap with, but at the same time, a lot of people don't really think about how different those communities are. So a little background on me, around 20, probably 16 or 17, I started um, getting into tech, and it started with getting like a laptop and watching Linus Tech Tips, Basically, anyone who's my age who's into tech is into it because of Linus Tech Tips. It's a huge influence in the community. But also, when Ty, around the time Ty built his own computer, I was really interested in building my own computer, and he helped me out a ton in learning all that stuff and then eventually doing it around 2017 or 2018 or so. So for the entirety of that time up to now, tech is still a huge interest of mine. I was in the tech community and I wasn't exactly interested in making tech videos because it was expensive and there was a lot of work that went into it. But I was still a huge part of that community. I would say that was my main hobby. And now it's battle songs. And the key difference between those two hobbies is objectivity. Because in the tech community, there is no such thing as a subjective computer build. There is. Of course, it depends on budget. Of course, it depends on if you want AMD or NVIDIA, perhaps, or AMD or Intel. There's a bit of sub subjectivity there. But what I mean by that is that every single piece of a computer can be evaluated and compared to other pieces of the computer. And to, well, not other pieces of the computer, but to other varying competing products. Take a graphics card, for example. A 3060 is always going to perform worse than a 3070 or a 3080. That's just how it works. And there are ways to measure that. You can get, you can do tests that will give you a, an objective number in terms of frame count that tell you this is better than that. And obviously, like I said before, there are other things to take into consideration. There are like combinations of builds and all that stuff. But as far as making the same computer and just changing out one part, you can tell what's objectively better. And then the subjectivity comes in in price. Okay, I have a thousand dollars to build a PC. So you really should, there, there's always a, you should go with this, 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 and this. Because the thing with PCs is, is that you can't just say, I'm going to get a ball in CPU and then skimp out in the rest. No, you can't because that build's going to be bottlenecked. Or you can say, I'm going to get a sick monitor and just skimp out on the PC. No, you can't do that because then the PC won't be able to drive the monitor to its fullest potential. There, If you really want subjectivity in the tech community, you need a lot of money so that you can ignore all those rules and just get whatever the hell you want. Otherwise, if you're running into the community and you're saying, hey, I have $700 to build a PC, generally, depending on what's out that year, there is an accepted build that you should go for that is going to give you the best performance for your money. And it changes every year with new things that come out. Sometimes Intel takes the top in the CPU game. Sometimes AMD takes the top. And there are other considerations to make. AMD requires more RAM. Intel is more about the high clock speed. So you need like, if you want gaming, you go with Intel. Uh, this is all probably old information at this point as I'm not completely up to date on the tech community. But that's really where it comes in. It's the subjectivity of the tech community is, what's your price? What are you doing with your computer? When do you want it done by? Pretty much. Those are the three questions you ask anyone who's like, I want to build a computer. Anytime someone would ask me, what computer should I build or what should I get in my computer? My first answer was, what is your budget and what do you want to do with it? Because if you have $700 and you want to game with it, it's going to be a lot different to build it than if you have 
12 grand and you need a sweet editing rig for your multi-thousand dollar a month YouTube editing whatever. And then that's where ballast songs come in because ballast songs are basically the opposite. There is one objective fact in the ballast song community, and that is that titanium is more durable than aluminum. I don't think anyone could really contest that. Titanium is going to hold up a lot better to drops than aluminum will. But other than that, there is no right answer in the ballast song community. Someone comes in to a stream chat and they say, hey, I have $150, what should I buy? I can't just say, this is gonna be the best performance for your money. This is the thing with the highest number, the highest frame rate, the highest clock speed. That doesn't exist. You could go with the Prisma, the Arctic, the Mako, the Triton, the, you, hell, even like the Vulp or something like that. There are so many choices you can get for your money. And it's all going to depend on the user because no one's favorite ballast song is the same. Some people like the Kraken. Some people like the Nemesis V2. Some people like the Vulp. Hell, some people like the Arctic. There's nothing subjective about this hobby and it makes it so difficult to review things and to keep all the information down and to recommend people things. Because instead of being like, okay, I can feel confident that I recommended this person the right GPU for what they need. You sit back and you say, well, what if they don't like handle bias? Should I have recommended them a Kraken trainer? And it makes this, the recommendation game, this runaround of 50 questions. Do you like handle bias? Do you like lighter weights? Do you like heavier weights? Do you want titanium? Do you want aluminum? Do you want a neutral bias? Do you have a hundred dollars to spend or do you have $600 to spend? Do you want something completely custom or do you want something that's released really often? Do you want something in the next two months or do you want something now? There's, it's, it is really crazy. And I just, I, I've always found that disconnect between the two communities so fascinating, especially as someone who's transferred between them and now has to make content on one of the most subjective things that I've ever been a part of. Because if you say something that someone doesn't agree with, they, they are loud about it, you know? Just ask Brandon when he defends the Kraken Trainer or the Nautilus. Or on the opposite side of the same coin, when I say the Nautilus isn't all it's cracked up to be, or at least mine wasn't. There's so much subjectivity and it makes it really, really difficult to review things. But at the same time, it also makes it a lot more fun. Because rather than, rather than just putting up a graph and saying, here's this, here's this, here's what this combination of PC parts does, here's what this GPU does, here's the numbers, there you go. The only real personality in that is the way that you present the information and the way that you like make the graphs. Like there's a, a, a YouTube channel that's literally just dedicated. Gamers Nexus is just all the technical stuff graphs just hammer them hard there you go you get all of the gritty little details and people love that but at the end of the day you're getting the same information whether you watch a gamers nexus video or a linus tech tips video if you break it down to its raw information you're getting the same information that this performs better than that this is the number, here you go. Whereas ballast songs, since they are so subjective, it's also a place for content creators to put in their special flair. Now granted, there's not many good examples of this as of right now, because I think there's a widely accepted formula in the ballast song community, and that is Will Hirsch's formula, review, B-roll, review, B-roll, review, B-roll. But if you look at someone like Addison True, who puts so much personality into his camera work, Will puts so much personality into his scripts, Brandon puts so much of his personality into his, into his shots and his jokes, there's a lot more creative freedom to review something subjective than objective. 
because even the content of the information that you convey might be different. Oh, this has a handle bias, and that's bad because I don't like handle bias. This is made out of aluminum, and that's bad because I think aluminum is slippery. Whereas other people might say, oh, handle bias, that's amazing. Aluminum, who cares if it's slippery? I love that. So it's just, I just think it's so incredibly interesting, the disconnect between the two communities. And yet there is still a pretty big overlap. I've seen, I believe the channel was Derp Flips. He did a video where he talked about the new, um, the new iPhone launch or something like that, and his opinions on it while flipping. And it was such a, it was such a beautiful marriage of the two communities that I had grown to love so much. And I love stuff like that. In fact, this was before Blade Bias. I had considered making that my thing on Blade Bias, talking about tech while flipping a Balasong. But, as much as I love the two communities, the difference between them, I think, is what makes them so interesting to compare. And I wonder if any of you have ever thought the same, or if you even agree with me, because there is even subjectivity in what I am saying. You might think, oh no, there's tons of personality to be had in review style content with graphs and stuff like that, which I agree with, to be fair. But, or you could say, no, the tech community is all subjective and it's just like blah, blah, blah. There's so much you could say, and I'm interested to see what you guys think. So leave me a comment down below, letting me know what you think um, of the ideas presented in this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.